Hello, driving intelligence community. This is a purely anecdotal video. It involves my use of oil filters, three different oil filters over four oil changes with the Valvoline Restore and Protect. And I'm trying to go through this quickly. Uh, I'm looking for some of your experience, but I found it kind of shocking that uh, the results of my observations, not really testing, but observations with these oil filters was, was kind of odd. Starting off with the, the Motocraft oil filter, didn't really feel like it was the best quality based on some other videos I've seen in some research, seems like Ford had reduced their quality by going to another uh, contract manufacturer. So I went to Mobile One, which was a filter I had on the shelf. I'd bought that at Walmart and it was a good price. So I put that in the truck on the second oil change with the Valvoline Storm Protect. Everything was running good. Little bit of uh, startup noise or knock, as I've mentioned in previous videos, but the engine's super quiet after it warms up. So then I went to the Perlator because a lot of people recommended that I use the Perlator Boss. It's the best filter out there. There are other other filters that people have recommended like Wix, etc. But the Boss seemed to have uh, many more positive comments from people on my channel. First thing I noticed on the startup, lots of startup rattle. Much more than with the Mobile filter and even I think a lot more than with the Motorcraft oil filter now that I'm thinking about it. So I went through 5,000 miles on the Valve and Restore Protect with the Perlator Boss, and I said, I'm going back to the Mobile One because it was much quieter. N no doubt, I put the filter on, the engine is much quieter at startup. So what are my thoughts initially? And I'm going to go through this a little bit later on in the video, but I think the anti-drain back valve design, at least for my application in my truck, is better with the Mobile One. So... Let's take a look at the details of these filters. Uh, but again, this is this is not subjective. This is objective evidence of sound the sound of the engine at startup. So there's no question there's a lot more noise with the Perlator Boss at startup. All the filters deliver quiet performance during normal operation, but I really wanted to take a deeper look at this. I'm really looking forward to seeing what any of you think about it. So don't forget to leave comments about this. And let's carry on with other details of these filters. Since I'm no longer using Motorcraft, I'm leaving that filter out of this comparison. If you want me to throw Motorcraft into a future video, leave a comment. The filter details I share were found on the internet. In my intro, I mentioned Mobile One EP has far less startup chatter than the Perlator Boss on my 2002 F-150 with the 5.4 liter engine. Again, purely anecdotal, not a deep dive. Now let's compare these filters with objective data. For the anti-drain back valve design, Mobile One uses nitrile for reliable, gradual oil hold. Perlator Boss has silicone for better heat resistance and quicker release. Perlator gets the win. Checking flow performance, Mobile One EP delivers 7 to 9 gallons per minute with approximately a 1.75 psi pressure drop. Perlator Boss delivers approximately 2.9 to 4.5 gallons per minute with a pressure drop of 1.75 to 2 psi. Mobile One gets the win. Finally, filtering performance. Mobile One EP hits 99% at 30 microns. Older data shows 99.2% filtering performance at 20 microns from an early production batch, but this is based on a different measurement standard. Perlator Boss achieves 99% at 17 microns, catching smaller particles, especially those at 20 microns, which are known to cause significant wear because of their ability to penetrate tight engine places. Perlator gets the win. Although the Perlator Boss is better at filtering smaller particles, I'm sticking with Mobile One due to the reduced startup chatter. I think there are two possible reasons the Mobile One startup performance appears to be better. First, the Mobile One nitrile anti-drain back valve holds oil more steadily, avoiding the quick surge caused by the Boss's silicone valve, especially with my high flow oil pump. This surge could be splashing forcefully against the timing chain, causing it to hit the tensioner guides before the tensioners take up slack in the timing chain. Or second, the boss's silicone ADBV leaks oil after engine shutdown causing a dry start. No hard data proves this, but it fits. Again, I'm sticking with the Mobile One for the quieter starts, which in my mind is a reduction in significant and damaging startup wear. Drop your comments below, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.